Hello all of my elite creators, Team 365 HS Crew. I am Shakia, the professor, and in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to slice in Cricut Design Space for an oversized print and cut that can be used as a cutout, a centerpiece, and different things like that. If this is something that you are interested in, stick around. Make sure that you also don't leave without giving this video a thumbs up as well as subscribing if you are um, new here. If you are a subscriber, thank you for the support and welcome back. So let's go ahead and jump into Cricut Design Space. With Cricut Design Space, when you do a print and cut, you are limited in the size that you can print. With Cricut, you can use a 12 by 12 by 24 inch mat, but that's if you're just cutting like vinyl, regular cardstock. But for print and cut, you are limited to printing basically to an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And um, also uh, you're limited to, it's like eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, but the size that you can make your sections is really only 9.75, I'm sorry, 6.75 by nine. So you're gonna have a lot of smaller pieces to make it a 24 inch piece. I'm going to open up a JPEG or PNG image. You can do this with SVGs um, or things that you create. You just have to make sure that you go in there and you uh, flatten it so that it knows it's now a print and cut image. So I'm going to go to upload just to show you how to remove the white background and all that kind of good jazz. So we're going to go to browse. I'm going to bring in my image. You're going to go to complex and you're wanting to remove the white from around it. So we're going to go continue and you can see the checkers, but it's kind of faded out. So if you go up here to the wand, I like to go to advanced options and increase my tolerance just to make sure I have nice clean lines. So I'm going to take that up. I mean, this is white. So I'm just going to take this up to 30, right? And then with it on the wand, you're going to click in those white areas. And you see now it's like a blue, uh, bluish grayish and like white background. That's what you want. You're basically making it a PNG at this point so that you would have um, contour lines around it. So we're going to click in there and click inside there, right? So now we're gonna hit continue, and then you would choose print then cut image, and then upload, which I already have one you know, done. So we're gonna click on that and go insert images. You're then gonna size it to the size that you want. The person that I'm doing this video for posted a picture that was like this, and she said she wanted two feet. But if you do two feet with this particular image, we're gonna go here to the width, right? And we're gonna go 24 inches, which is two feet. So length wise, I'm sorry, width wise it's 24, but for the height it's only 15 inches. If you wanted this to sit two feet tall, your width is going to be much, 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 much wider. So you have to decide which way do you want the 24 to go? Length or height. I don't recommend trying to unlock it and then stretch it to fit how you want it. So at 24 inches in height, this is now almost 40 inches wide. So you have to make the decision on how you want it set up. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to take this to where it's only 24 inches wide because that'll be less sheets of paper. Once you have the size that you want, you want to make a duplicate of it. And then on this, I'm going to make it a basic cut so that for the background, I can cut that from wider sheets of paper so that I can glue my top pieces to it and um, it'll be a lot more stable, okay? So for the print and cut part of it, you're gonna go to your shape tool, create, a, get a square. You're going to unlock the proportions and make that either a width of nine, height of 6.75, or you can do it the other way where you can do width of 6.75 and the height of nine, depending on which will take up, like which will work best for your image. Sometimes it's better to go landscape than it is to go portrait and vice versa. For this, I'm gonna do my width at nine and my height at 6.75 and then enter. 
So now we want to overlap this. I'm, I like to kind of see mine in the center of my page with Cricut. You know, of course, it'll go up to the top anyway. So I just want to kind of zoom in here. And I'm going to send this to the back so that I can line this up right at the edge of this. Then you're going to want to make duplicates. Well, I will say this. With this particular image, if I put it here, having this little sliver here is just an unnecessary cut. So we're going to take this to where our box is right above his leg. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to duplicate it a couple a couple times. All right. Then we're going to move this off to the side. We want to line these up. And because of the way um, it slices, you want to create a little bit of an overlap so with this we're gonna tab it over with our arrow key on our keyboard and I want a little bit of an overlap same thing here and then for this one we're going to I'm gonna send this to the back just so I can see where it is Uh oh we're going to let's see gotta find there we go so I'm going to move, use my arrow key. I'm going to move that up just a little over some. And then we can take this one. And let's bring this back to the top now just so that I can see where this one is going to line up at. And then we need to duplicate one more time for the area right here. Okay, so now you're going to drag and select where each box is. So we're going to click here, come down to the box and the image of Spider-Man, and we're going to slice. We're going to come through here and slice, through here, slice, through here, slice, through here, slice, and down here slice once you have all that sliced you're going to go ahead and click on all of the boxes and delete those you're also going to have oops let's undo i delete the wrong part so let's delete that delete this there's also going to be gray pieces behind each of these so I just want to move these all out of the way and delete those as well Okay, so these are all of your pieces for the print and cut. For the background of it, if you it's best if you have like 11 by 17 or some type of paper that's going to be um, a, a wider paper that you can cut to because remember, you can cut regular up to 12 by 24. So I'm going to go back to the shape tool. I'm going to make that... 17 by 11 oops oh it's let's make sure we unlock that and 17 by 11 and we're going to pretty much do the same thing but this is going to be regular cuts that we can tape those and then tape all of our smaller pieces on top to make sure everything is lined up so we're going to go there i'm going to just send this to the back just so that i can see where it is and let's duplicate And then duplicate this one. Actually, we're not going to need this side because it's only, it's going to split this in half. And then you're going to split this part. So we really only need this one because it's going to slice this anyway. So we're going to select here and we're going to slice. All right, let's delete that back part. We don't need, um, well, let's slice it. Oh, no, I was right. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna slice it. Oh, there we go. And let's delete here. So now we have one, two, and three pieces. So these right here, we don't need. So you're gonna have one 11 by 17, this is gonna fit on 11 by 17, and this is gonna fit on 11 by 17 to cut those up and then you would glue those or tape those together 
and then your print and cut pieces will then go and layer on top of that. That'll help give you a more sturdy base. When you go to make it, you will have all of your print and cut pieces. The machine will cut all of these out for you. So you don't have to worry about cutting them yourself. All right. And then these would be your regular cuts that you would cut from either black or white cardstock. Okay. And for this one, it made it to where it wasn't quite 11 by 17. So you may end up having to pull this one to a different um, page so that it is is just cutting on 11 by 17 paper. Because right now it's accounting for it on like a whole mat as if you're gonna put 12 by 24 inch paper on there. So you'll just make this one to where it goes to a new mat. So we're gonna click right here and we're going to move object and go new um, current colors confirm so now it has its own mat and you will be able to cut that from your paper as well all right so hopefully this was helpful for you in knowing, learning how to slice your print your oversized print then cut images for oversized cutouts and centerpieces. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, do, um, subscribe and leave me a comment if you have any questions, you have any suggestions for other images, or just simply let me know if this tutorial worked for you. All right, guys, until next time, continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.